And we're back to learning Photoshop in the year, day 75. Let me show you how you can create radio gradients. You need the gradient tool, and use the shortcut key for it. And also right click on this box right here. You use the basic, first option, and the gradient. And here you can set it to radial. So by default it's linear, left click on radial. And then you can left click drag on a canvas. Looks a little bit different now. We have this circle right here to create ellipses. Drag it to the inside, and if you drag it to the outside, there's a limit, and this limit is simply a perfect circle. We still have our two cutter stops and a slider for the transition position. But the second cutter stop now also defines the radius of the circle. You can double click on the stops, recolor them just like with linear gradients. And you can also see that whatever is outside of the circle will automatically have this color stop color at 100%. So in this case, blue. Let us create something that fills our canvas. Maybe up to here. You can always readjust it. But two things have to be true for this to be possible. Number one is you have to have the gradient fill layer active in the layers menu, and you also have to have the gradient tool active right here on the left. There are more ways to adjust it under properties. If you don't see that, go to window, click on properties, and the gradient layer has to be active. Then you can do that. So here are color stops again. Let's, for example, make this, uh, let's say, green and red. Below that is your opacity control, and there you can set your gradients, for example, to transparency. Here's the inside, and on the right is now the outside. If you want to add a gradient layer to text, let us simply create a text and I'll make the gradient layer invisible for now. I'll size the text up and bring it to center. Let me make it at 50. Then I press Ctrl A, move to is active, and I can put it in center. Then Ctrl D to deselect. To apply the gradient, we can use this gradient fill layer, right click, and create a clipping mask. Now the radial gradient is clipped to our text. Make it invisible. We can also right click and use the blending options on the gradient overlay, on the style. There's an option to choose radial. Preview window now here shows you the position of the gradient. So if you drag that around, right here on the right, you should see it. Any other adjustments are just like with linear gradients. I went over that in the last video. And this is how you can create radial gradients in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.